The first Open was in 1860. Willie Park Sr. won at Presswick in South Ayrshire. Presswick hosted the first 12 Opens before it started moving to different venues. Willie Park Sr., Tom Morris Sr. and Tom Morris Jr. dominated the early scene. The first 29 winners of the Open Championship were Scottish. Then an English amateur stopped the run of Scottish dominance, John Ball in 1890, the first amateur champion of the Open. Then England started winning loads. J.H. Taylor, Harry Varden quickly won 11 Opens between them. Arno Massey, a Frenchman, was the only overseas winner of the Open before World War I. But after World War I, the floodgates opened. Americans quickly won nine Opens. Bobby Jones won three as an amateur. Walter Hagen won four. Bobby Locke became the first South African o Open winner in 1949, rapidly putting his name on the claret jug four times. Peter Thompson won five for Australia, and from the 50s onwards, the Open has been dominated by overseas players. It's only Nick Faldo, a three-time champion, and Podrick Harrington, who won it twice, who have been multiple champions from Britain and Ireland since World War II. The idea that the British and Irish are more suited to the Open Championship venues, more experienced, more likely to win the Open, just doesn't ring true. It's not backed up by the names on the claret jug for the last hundred years. Faldo is the last Englishman to win the Open, way back in 1992. If punters fancy an American to win the Open, they shouldn't be put off by this false notion that they won't like the weather or the conditions. Americans have won 31 Opens since 1961. That is 31 of the last 58 Opens, more than 50%. So if you're looking for a bet for this year's Open and you fancy a yank, give the bookies a spank.